Welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video we are going to talk about top 10 best places to visit in Seattle. So before starting this video, like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. Seattle is the Pacific Northwest's cultural capital. This legendary city has evolved from its natural surroundings into a vibrant, forward-thinking center of innovation. Today, whether you're searching for an urban adventure or some outdoor fun, Seattle has it all, making for a great vacation. The Seattle Space Needle, which was created for the 1962 World's Fair, is generally the city's first visitor attraction, and a visit to the revolving obelisk is certainly worth it. It's part of the Greater Seattle Center, which is home to a slew of other must-see attractions, including Chihuly Garden and Glass. The downtown waterfront at Pike Place Market and Pioneer Square are two other popular sites to visit in Seattle. Museums, boat rides, and spins on the Seattle Great will provide visitors with many days of amusement. Number 10, Seattle Center and the Space Needle. The Space Needle and the Monorail, as well as Seattle Center, were erected for the 1962 World's Fair. Since then, they've been transformed into an entertainment complex and park area, complete with theaters, sports facilities, and restaurants. The Museum of Pop Culture's multi-genre exhibits and Chihuly Garden and Glass's stunning glass artworks are among the area's modern tourist attractions. KEXP, Seattle's premier radio station, also has a studio in the Seattle Center, where music aficionados frequently congregate. Taking a ride to the top of the Space Needle is a must-do when visiting Seattle. Tourists can take an elevator to the Needle Observation Deck for a 360-degree panorama of Seattle, Elliott Bay, and MT, Rainier. Summer is the finest time to visit the Space Needle because the winter clouds have dissipated. The Seattle Center, on the other hand, is one of the greatest places to come in the city throughout the winter, with seasonal events such as the annual Winterfest including family-friendly and free attractions. Number 9, Pike Place Market. On the two levels of the gorgeous Pike Place Market, vendors sell a diverse range of goods. During the spring, summer, and fall, this bustling neighborhood near the shore is a popular tourist destination. Market tours are a great chance to get away from the hustle and bustle of Pike Place and hear some interesting tales. Taste buds and camera lenses are tantalized by fish, fruit, veggies, and a variety of other oddities. If you don't have access to the hotel kitchen, visit one of the 80 local eateries and bakeries, or pick up some treats to take home from one of the specialty food stores. There are over 200 proprietor-operated shops, ranging from antiques and collectibles to bookstores and eccentric specialty shops, in addition to a wide range of dining options. A crafts fair with 225 local and regional artisans is part of the historic nine-acre shopping destination. Although it is possible to spend an entire day visiting each vendor in Pike Place Market, most tourists just visit for a few hours. The market is located in the heart of downtown, close to a number of other attractions. The Seattle Art Museum, the Seattle Aquarium, and the Seattle Great Will at Pier 57 are all within walking distance. Number 8, Discovery Park. Discovery Park is the city's largest park, covering almost 550 acres, and is home to one of Seattle's best beaches. It's on a point in the Magnolia area, west of downtown, that protrudes into the sound. The park has a coastline, forest, and meadows, providing a true getaway from the city, as well as a wildlife home. The park's westernmost viewpoint, West Point Lighthouse, is a popular photo location. However, the natural environment provides numerous alternative vantage points over Puget Sound, as well as spectacular vistas of the Olympic Mountains. The two most popular paths to see the big views are the Loop Trail and the Beach Trail. Interactive exhibits and park information, as well as teaching programs for all ages, are available at an environmental learning center. The park's network of paths is extensive, but ample signage makes navigating the park's 500-plus acres relatively simple. Even so, first-time visitors should download the park map. Number 7, Chihuly Garden and Glass. The Chihuly Garden and Glass, part of the Seattle Center, is one of Seattle's top museums. The collections and exhibits here showcase and examine the work of Tacoma native and inventive glassblower Dale Chihuly. Chihuly is noted for employing glass as a purely creative material and producing sculptures that enthrall viewers. Visitors can see one of his largest works, The Glass House, in addition to eight galleries, where the installation's colors and look change with the shifting sunshine above. 
The Art Plaza and Collections Cafe, located next to the greenhouse, is a great spot to sit and watch hourly glassblowing demonstrations. The plaza is adjacent to the garden, where Chihuly's work is shown in a natural setting, accentuating the flow and depth of the glass. The museum also offers daily gallery talks and tours, as well as a film presentation about the artist's life and work. The Chihuly Glass and Garden Center is open seven days a week. Number 6. Go Underground in the Pioneer Square Historic District Pioneer Square is the city's historic heart, marked by a 60-foot totem pole. The Smith Tower stands out among the Victorian-era structures because of its remarkable height, 42 stories. On the 35th level, there is an observation deck that is great for sightseeing. The Klondike Gold Rush National Historical Park, located in the same area, commemorates the rush of prospectors that flocked to the Yukon during the 1897 Klondike Gold Rush. This historic event ushered in a new era of riches for Seattle, the self-proclaimed gateway to the gold fields. Book a slot on Bill Spidell's underground tour to see the historic city beneath the current streets for a unique perspective on the past. This 75-minute tour describes how the city's current streets were created during the Great Seattle Fire of 1889, as well as the legacy of the now-forgotten underground sidewalks. Number 5. Learn about Puget Sound at the Seattle Aquarium. The non-profit Seattle Aquarium is located on the downtown waterfront, just steps away from Pier 57 and the Seattle Great Wheel. The aquarium aims to teach every family member about the wild importance of the adjacent Puget Sound through numerous live animal exhibits. The aquarium's initial exhibit is called Window on Washington's Waters. This gigantic 120,000-gallon tank with a 40-foot-wide window and bench seating is popular with visitors. Staff members provide relevant information and answer any inquiries at the exhibit and across the museum. The touch tanks in the tidal pools are usually the aquarium's next big draw. Sea anemones and other colorful invertebrates can be gently touched by children and adults. The aquarium also houses a variety of marine creatures, such as seals and otters of various species. Thanks to the tank designs, visitors can see these joyful creatures both above and below water. Number 4. Woodland Park Zoo Woodland Park Zoo, located in Seattle, is a 92-acre facility that houses several threatened and endangered species from throughout the world. The zoo, which was the first to build naturalistic exhibits, is extremely popular with families, and its 300 different species include Asian and African elephants, as well as snow leopards, jaguars, lemurs, and grizzly bears. Find out when daily events, animal feedings, and informative lectures are held, or when the solar-powered carousel is open. If you're visiting in the summer, go first thing when the zoo opens or stay until it closes. Many animals will stay in their enclosures to escape the heat of the day. Animal lovers can arrange an animal encounter tour, which allows them to get up up and personal with some of the zoo's most fascinating fauna, frequently with the opportunity to feed or touch them. Meeting giraffes, penguins, lemurs, and other residents is one of the highlights of the trip. Number 3, Mahai, the Museum of History and Industry. Seattle's position as a pioneer in innovation and industry is celebrated at the Museum of History and Industry, Mahai. The circumstances that contributed to Seattle's growth as a major port city are also documented at this educational institution. The True Northwest exhibit takes visitors on a tour of the region's history, from Native American cultures to the current day, examining how geography and cultural events, such as the Klondike Gold Rush created the Emerald City. In the Maritime exhibit, visitors may see 360-degree views of the city through an original World War II-era Tang periscope. The museum's third main gallery examines how local inventors have propelled the region to the forefront of new technology and innovation. It contains interactive exhibitions as well as an opportunity to receive an early peek at concepts being researched. The museum's main gallery has a permanent collection of historical artifacts ranging from vintage garments to locally invented products. The Center for Wooden Boats, which is adjacent to Mahai, is another popular community attraction. This nonprofit aims to make water leisure and marine tourism more accessible to the general public. Throughout the week, the facility provides classes, public sailboat expeditions, and rentals. Number 2. Watch Boats Pass at Hiram M. Chittenden Locks, Ballard Locks. The Ballard Locks are a busy set of locks located northwest of Seattle Center. These interesting engineering feats are located in Salmon Bay 
and assist to keep Puget Sound's saltwater isolated from Lake Washington's freshwater. They also aid in the regulation of water levels in Lake Washington, which would otherwise change with the tide. The Ballard Locks also have a boat lift for vessels crossing into Puget Sound, or vice versa. This fun experience of transferring boats large and small, from personal sailboats to much huge cargo ships, is unlike anything seen in most major towns. Visitors can look for the fish ladder, where salmon fight upstream, in addition to witnessing the boat traffic between Puget Sound and the lakes. The Carl S. English, Jr. Botanical Garden is a peaceful area nearby where you may relax and admire well-kept gardens. Tourists can take a narrated sightseeing tour around the canal, which includes views of the Space Needle, the Great Ferris Wheel, and even the houseboat community portrayed in Sleepless in Seattle. The 2.5-hour tour includes transportation back to the starting point. Number 1. Take a Water Taxi to Alki Beach Park Alki Beach Park is a renowned West Seattle attraction with a rich history. It was here, in 1851, when the first white settlers arrived, greeted by Chief Seattle and his tribe. It's now a 2.5-mile linear park that's always bustling when the weather is great. On summer weekends, though, with enough of sand and room to lay out some volleyball nets, crowding isn't always an issue. Finding a parking spot, on the other hand, can sometimes necessitate extra patience. It's considerably easier to take a water taxi from Pier 50 in downtown Seattle to avoid the trouble of parking. The water taxi will drop you off at Alki Beach Park's eastern edge. A trip to Alki at low tide opens up a world of tidal pool exploration. A 2.5-mile concrete pathway runs parallel to the shore, with seats and local businesses lining much of it, providing lots of opportunities for an afternoon of exploration. What do you think about this video? Which of the following top 10 best places to visit in Seattle you find most interesting? Do let us know down in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.